Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. Hey third grade and welcome to video number six of the Math FSA Bootcamp series. I'm hoping that you have the worksheet for video number six because I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video and complete the problems on your own. If you're like, but Miss McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet. Don't worry, I've got your back. If you click the link below, you'll actually be able to download the same worksheet that we're using in the video today. So go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own and press play when you are ready to check your work. Welcome back everybody. I hope that you worked hard, threw down your very best. Now you're here to check your work, so let's go ahead. First, I'm taking a peek at the question to go ahead and identify what question type this is. I'm seeing a select all and then A, B, C, D, and E. So what kind of question is this? It's a multi-select. If you forgot to write it in, do it now. Now let's go ahead and mark up our text to have it make sense for us. So this says select all that means that we are going to try all or work out all of the equations equations means that there is an equal sign equal let me do it down here equal sign that could be used to find 15 divided by 3 equals blank so we know that the equations boom are right there all right, so this question is testing to see whether or not we know our fact families. So for a multiplication and division fact family, there are two multiplications and two divisions. We have one of the divisions right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the division equation 15 divided by three equals huh? right there. That means that 15 is the total and we're dividing it by three, either into three groups or three in each group. So let's go ahead and flip that around now and say that we had 15 total and now let's put the unknown there. 15 divided by what equals 3. That would be a part of our fact family here. And then we also have multiplication. So what we do is go in reverse there because multiplication and division are inverse operations. I'm gonna go what times 3 equals 15. What times 3 equals 15. And then let's flip flop those factors and use the commutative property to flip flop these two factors around because 3 times what equals 15. So those are all of the different equations that could be used to find this one. Now before we go over here and match it up, let's take it a step further and identify what the missing value is, okay? Let's go back up to the original. 15 divided by 3 equals what? So if I have 15 total and I have three things in each group, that would be 
one, two, three, there's a group, four, five, six, there's a group, seven, eight, nine, there's a group, 10, 11, 12, there's a group, and I'm going all the way to 15, so 13, 14, 15, there's a group, and how many groups do I have? Five, right? I have five groups with three in it. So that means the missing value here would be five. That means also that the missing value for all of our boxes would be five. So now let's take our journey over to the answer choices and select which ones are correct. So A says three times 15 equals five. Well, if we have three, groups of 15 in each, that's going to be way more than five. So what can we do with choice A? Right, we can eliminate. Okay. And also it's not over here. 15 times what equals three? Well, if we are multiplying 15 times our missing value of five, that would be again way greater than three. So what can we do with choice B? eliminate. Remember that when we eliminate, to put your X's over here, not on top of the answer choices. Why? Because a computer is going to scan your answers in and if you put an X over there, they might think, oh, you meant to pick that one. No, we didn't. We just eliminated it. Let's look at choice C. 15 times 3. Again, if we have 15 groups of three, it's going to be way higher than five. So what can we do with choice C? Eliminate it. That's right. Choice D says three groups of five equals 15. Well, look, that matches up with our work right there. So what can we do with choice D? We're going to keep that one. Let's go ahead and mark that. And we definitely want to check out E too. We try all of them. E says, what value times three equals 15? That's just like this one. What times three equals 15? Well, five times three equals 15. Okay, there's our work. And I better not forget to bubble in E as well. Make sure you mark both answers in just like that. Make any corrections that you need to make. If you need to pause the video, go for it, and then join me for number two. Break it on down to number two. Here we are with number two, and I'm looking at it, and I want to identify the question type first. So what kind of question is this? Yeah, it's a matching item question. We're matching each row with the correct column. So if you did not already, jot down matching item. For those of you who have been watching this series, you know that matching items are one of my favorites. I actually like them all because I just love math and I hope that you do too. Number two says match each division equation. So we've got a division equation. Equation means that there is an equal sign to the correct multiplication equation multiplication equation, which means that there's an equal sign that can be used to help solve the equation. Okay, so again, what we're doing involves fact families. For each fact family, there are two multiplication and two division equations, okay? Here, over here, we've got the division equations, and here are the multiplication equations. So the first row says six divided by three equals what? Well, for this, we actually don't even have to figure out what the missing value is. We just have to figure out which equation is in the same fact family. So six, that means six total divided into either three groups or three in each group equals how many? Okay, so if six is the total here for division, if we're matching it with a multiplication equation, then six needs to be our product, our answer. And I'm seeing right here that six is the product right there, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this one out just so we can prove this guy. All right, so if I have six total divided into three groups, so one, two, three, and I'm dividing it out, so I have six total divided into three groups, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So what is my unknown value? 
Right, it's two. And so does that mean that here, if this is true, are there three groups of two? Yep, equals a total of six. Yes, so these two, this division equation matches this multiplication equation at letter C. So let's go ahead and mark that. Let's try the next one. We have 16 divided by what equals eight? Well, I'm seeing, I'm thinking that it might be this one right here because again, I've got 16 as my total. It's my dividend for division. It's what I'm dividing out. And then I have 16 as my total or my product here in my multiplication equation. So this would be eight groups of what? So let me divide this out now and make eight my groups. Since eight is in the group spot here, I'm gonna make eight my groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 is my total, I'll divide it equally into eight groups. So that would be one, two, three, four, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, that divides evenly. So what would be the missing value here? Two. And let's see if that matches this equation. Do we have eight groups? Yes. Of two in each? Yes. Equals a total of 16? Yes. So let's match it up. This row with this column lands on D. And you might be saying, oh, well, the only column that we haven't used is the middle column, so it must be H. That's okay to be thinking that, but shouldn't you also check mathematically to make sure that that makes sense? Absolutely. Let's see if that makes sense. So this would be our groups of two in each equals a total of eight. So here we have eight total. Let's put two in each to see how many groups we're gonna get. One, two, there's a group. Three, four, there's a group. Five, six, there's a group. Seven, eight, there's a group. So we have eight total divided into groups of two or two things in each equals how many groups? One, two, three, four. So does that mean we have four groups of two, which equals a total of eight? Oh, sure you betcha. Let's join them together and they do indeed join at H. So our prediction was correct. But notice we took a mathematical journey to prove that, so make sure you do that. If you need some more practice that focuses on how multiplication and division are inverse operations and how you can use them to solve the other one, then I encourage you to check out McCarthy Math 155. McCarthy Math 155 is a membership, either a monthly membership or an annual membership, but you can try it out for free for seven days. And, and teachers, I just wanted to let you know that you can share these videos with your students. I show you how to do that in the tutorials tab, or you can email me and I'll point you in the right direction of how to do that. If you need some more practice focus on unit four you know, this is kind of small but it's days 43 53 and 54 so that's three videos focusing on what we just did today I also want to encourage you to check out my other series how to pass the math FSA now I created this series a few years ago back when the FSA was a computer-based test it's not a computer-based test anymore so some of the problems are a little bit different than what you're seeing in this series the math FSA boot camp still great questions still great practice for you so check that out in the link below because we did a lot of multiplication and division today, I'm gonna go ahead and include the multiplication mashup link there for you to practice and get faster with your multiplication facts. I also encourage you to follow me on social media. That way you can see when I'm dropping new episodes and just stay in the loop with anything McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on Instagram at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. And of course, I'm here on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and tap that like button. That way I know that I need to keep on creating more videos for you and while you're at it go ahead and subscribe that way you are the first to know when I release a new video and before we go I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose that's right you students you are the ones that we've been waiting for so find your light and shine it bright watch out world because we have a whole new generation of a world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place when you have the choice, choose kindness, and you always have that choice. And I'll see you on the next episode.